بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو ڈیئر ویوس ہاؤ آر یو پیپل الحمد للہ آئی ایم گڈ اینڈ تھنک دیٹ یو پیپل آر بی فائن آلسو اینڈ ٹوڈیز نیو ٹاپک ویری گڈ ٹاپک از دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم گائیڈنس آن ٹریٹنگ سیڈنیس گریف اینڈ ڈپریشن well sadness and grief is understood but when it's come to when it comes to depression nowadays this this has become a disease depression and depression specially comes due to uh, according to my observation it comes due to two reason uh, and and as uh, sometimes i was suffering from the slight slight depression because that uh, two or two things i have overcome depression by following two things two things number one have faith have 100% faith on allah and believe that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of, of allah number one and number two is taking care of our mental and physical health if we divide physical into two physical health into two parts uh, that is mental health and another rest of the physical health we have to take care of that uh, and we should we must lead we must live a natural lifestyle which islam says and which we have in the medicine healing with the medicine of the prophet which is called tibb e nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam because most of the muslims they doesn't know how to live a natural life how to live a good happy life uh, in spite of you are you people are weak or very weak or very you people are very sad anything like that now cover okay, let's start from a hadith in the sahihan it is narrated that the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there is no deity worthy of worship except allah the most great the most forbearing there is no deity worthy of worship except allah the lord of the mighty throne there is no deity worthy of worship except allah the lord of seven heavens the lord of the earth and the lord of the honorable throne so in abu daud it is narrated that abu bukra related from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is the supplication of those afflicted by distress o oh allah i seek your mercy do not make the reliant on my own self for an instant and lead all my affairs to success there is no deity except you also abu daud rahmatullah le he narrated that asma bint umais radhiyallahu ta'ala anha said there's the allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to her should i teach you some words that you should recite when you in distress Allah is my lord with whom i associate nothing and no one this is the dua and imam ahmad also rahmatullah alayhi he narrated that ibn masud radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu said to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam whenever a sadness or grief strikes a slave and the slave then says oh allah i am your slave the son of your the son of your slave the son of your female slave the forelock is in your grasp grasp uh, your decision about me will certainly come to pass your judgment on me is certainly just i ask you by every name that is yours and which you call yourself by whether you reveal it in your book taught it some of your creation or kept in the knowledge of the <coughs> unseen that you have make the noble quran the spring of my heart the light of my chest the illuminator of 
may sadness and the end of my grief then allah will remove his sadness and depression and will replace them with joy also at tirmidhi it is narrated by saad ibn abi waqqas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu related from the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the supplication of the janaza which will be supplicated to the lord while in the belly of the hole and another dua that is la ilaha we know that la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min zalim in the translation is o oh allah glorified and exalted be you above all that evil they associate with you truly i have been of the wrong doers no muslim man would supplicate with it concerning a matter but would be positively answered by allah imam ahmad also narrated in the musnad Imam Ahmad. Whenever the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would be concerned about a matter, he would turn to prayer. We must turn to prayer if there is a problem. At least we should turn to Allah. We think of Allah. We think about. We think about Allah and Allah's creation, and we have to believe that Allah will eradicate every problem and eradicate our and remove our sorrow grief sadness depression everything and this helps because this helps we must try because uh, this this has helped personally to me so that's why i would suggest you people to follow this furthermore allah said and seek help in patience and as salah wastainu uh, bis sabri was sala that is in chapter number 2 verse number 45 in the sunan it is also narrated revert to jihad because it is among the doors of paradise paradise which with which allah drives away sadness and depression from the hearts the people who are brave you know who strive in the way of allah these people are really brave like sahaba so ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu was also reported to have related from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said whenever sadness and grief intensify whenever whenever the sadness and griefness intensify on someone let him often repeat there is neither power nor strength except from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala In the Sahihan, it is also narrated that this supplication is a treasure of paradise. While a Tirmizi narrated that this is the door of paradise. These cures that we mentioned are of fifteen types. If they are not sufficient to remove the sadness, depression, and grief, then the sickness has become chronic and needs to be completely removed and dissipated. So the first cure affirming Allah's ownness in His Lordship. This is iman, taqwa, iman, ah, tawhid is very very important. And the second affirming Allah's oneness in the worship. The third cure, the belief in the creed of tawhid. There is no true God but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is His messenger. <coughs> the fourth praising Allah for not dealing with His slave with injustice. and for not punishing him without a reason the fifth the slaves affirming that he is one who has committed the injustice thus we people we commit injustice allah never does do does any injustice to anybody the sixth pleading to allah by the most beloved beloved methods to him by his names attributes such as al ya hayy the everlasting ya qayyum who sustains everything and everyone the seventh depending on the relying on allah alone for everything <clears throat> and the eighth the slave affirms that his hope is only hope is only in allah the ninth acquiring true dependence on allah and relating all matters to him while admitting that the slave's forelock is in his hands alone and that he does with it whatever he will also admitting that allah's decision on the slave will certainly come to pass and that his judgment is certainly just the 10th the slave's heart 
should enjoy the gardens of the Quran and should make the Quran just like the spring of pure water to the animals. Also, the slave would use the light of the Quran to shatter the darkness of desire and lust. The Quran should be one's companion when no one else is present. The comfort that relieves every type of calamity and the cure that discards every illness that attacks the slave's heart. In short, the Quran should be the remover of sadness and the end of depression and grief. The eleven turning to istighfar. That is important. We have to do istighfar, seeking forgiveness from Allah, and twelve repenting to Allah, thirteen performing jihad in Allah's cause to strive. That is to strive and to struggle. See military action, jihad. It is situational completely. Otherwise. Uh, for a moment, for a good Muslim, from starting from purification, taskia, nafs, to military action, jihad, salah, everything is jihad. Everything he practices for the sake of Allah, everything he does for the sake of Allah is in jihad. So, this is very important. And the 14 performing prayer and the 15 relating, uh, 15th is relating all power and strength to He who grabs them within uh, them in His hands. So, this is from Islamic point of view because a lot of articles, a lot of cure has been done, and there is, it has been done for sadness and depression because and it is not helping people out because for man and women for we human being to be spiritual number one and number two to take care of your of our physical health mental health is necessary to solve this problem of sadness, grief and depression because depression can be controlled fully, not fully to maximum extent or you can say fully but sadness, grief that comes to even good people, even spiritual people. But the way is, again the way is Quran, the way, the way is to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no other way we can control depression. If you don't be if you, we people, we are not religious, we don't believe in Allah, we don't believe that Muhammad Sallallahu is the messenger and last prophet and the final testament, final revelation has come, then there would be no <coughs> eradication of this kind of depression and sorrow and grief, sadness, etc. So this is it for this topic. Please make dua for me and please listen to my video and share my video. And for every error I see, uh, I, I do istighfar in front of Allah. So thank you very much. Jazakallah khair.